this is what my front yard looks like during a rainstorm. Um, I tried to add a rain barrel here to collect the rain and um, help with the, with the drainage problem, but obviously that did not work. It just overflows so quickly because of just how much rain is collected by our gutters at um, that point in our roof. I also have a similar issue in the back where one of our downspouts are. Uh, it's also a low area in the yard. So I got a couple of NDS products from Amazon and from Lowe's and I'm going to test them out here and see if it'll help with my flooding. So I got this landscaping drainage pipe just from Amazon. Got a piece of PVC pipe and then this adapter. Um, we're getting a concrete patio put right here so I wanted to get something so the PVC will go into the concrete, under the concrete. Um, I just dug this hole, put this pipe in, and then I have this overflow spout at the end here. And I'm just gonna see how it works the next rain. Um, I think what I might do is dig more of a trench, get some more pipe, and have it drain out over here. There's a, there's a low spot. Okay, so I got some more of this uh, tubing. This one is, this one's perforated. So it should, it should um, drain some of the water as it connects from here um, and down to the drain over there. Um, and like I said, um, this, uh, downspout is just from such a huge portion of the roof that it's gonna flood pretty much anywhere it goes. That's why I'm thinking having a, a perforated pipe here might help with the with the flooding over here. Okay, so I have this downspout going into the ground to a PVC and it's underground here. I connected it to a perforated uh, pipe and that goes around here and it's connected to this NDS overflow spout or overflow drain, I can't remember what it's called, I'll link it uh, below. Um, I just use this Gorilla uh, waterproof tape where these pipes connect um, just to be sure this stuff here. And I just dug all of this out using um, a flat shovel. It wasn't too hard. All right, let's see how it works. Okay, so we finally have rain. Looks like everything's flowing good. Doesn't look like we have any problems here. I guess it hasn't reached this overflow valve yet but it's looking good. No flooding anymore. Okay, so the plan here is I have this NDS um, catch basin. We put that below the downspout here and then connect uh, piping all the way through here and then I have a low spot in the grass here and I have this NDS flow well um, to help with standing water and you can also connect uh, drain uh, drain piping to it so that's the plan here what? Sierra where where's Sierra ah! okay so we have it buried um, there's a surface inlet that can go here 
Um, I decided not to put it in because I figured this is probably going to get full pretty quickly and I don't want it overflowing into the yard. So I'm just going to leave that off. Um, I'm also going to get like a coupler here and I'm going to put um, another pipe going down to the street for overflow. So this is ready to be buried. I've attached a coupler here. So this one's going out to the well, which is right here. I've covered it all back up with sod and dirt. Um, and this one goes out close to the street and it has the overflow pop up. So now all I have to do is bury everything, put sod back on top and wait for it to rain. Looks like it's going down there perfectly. So none of this is flooded. Awesome. Nothing out of the overflow valve, overflow valve there yet either. But so far, worst part is just some dead sod. So it's looking good. Quick update for you guys. As you can see, this is still working. It's not um, overflowing or anything like that. But um, it's summertime here in Florida, so we get pretty bad storms. This storm that just came was pretty bad. And even though this is working, it's still flooded here. So I think this system is working. I just think it's something to keep in mind is how low is your actual ground. I think really the only way to permanently fix this would be to just add a lot of fill dirt, raise everything up. Um, so you can see it's just, it's just too low over here. But I think for our regular like daily rainstorms, this is going to work great. Um, it's just important to keep in mind your particular circumstances um, and take that into account. You know, you can link multiple wells underground together which uh, might help with this you can also put the surface inlet on top of the well to help collect the standing water so thanks for watching my video i'll link everything below and please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time